And welcome everyone back to another episode of Ruin of Factory 3. Today I'm going to show you the first dungeon. I'm not going to beat it because I'm kind of weak. Uh -huh. But we'll just check it out. It's Sofa Town. I have a strange feeling. Something's pulling me towards here. That's strange. Hmm. What are you up to? Yep, I know it's Wells. Wells? You shouldn't want to do proper your force unless you're prepared. Why? Why is it in there? What's in there? Monsters, of course! If you don't have a weapon with you, you're uh, liable to get walloped! I have no idea where this voice is coming from. I hear that troublesome, that troublesome raccoon is hiding in there too. It'd be nice if someone could would take care of him. Not in the literal set. He, he meant to defeat him. Well, I'll do it. Really? Sure, I think I take down a raccoon at least. But this raccoon is serious business. Thank you, glad to hear. The monsters probably for us aren't too tough if you're ready for them. Just don't try explore any other areas yet. Other areas? On the west side of town are entrances to Vail River and Sal Terrano Desert. On the east side there's Otter Valley and the yeah, Pit A too fast. The monsters in those places are a lot more dangerous than the ones you'll find in Private Forest. So you better stick to Private Forest and bleh, until you've got a lot more experience fighting monsters. Got it. I should also tell you about teleport. Uh, we've been use I've been using teleport a lot already. You can use teleport when you need to get home fast. If you're in a dungeon, it'll take you to the entrance. If you're in town, it'll take you to straight to the Sharn Street. Open the quick equip menu with L and click the spell to X or Y. It's already in my X slot. It doesn't use any RP, so you can use it anytime. Teleport is a special ability. You can't remove it, so you always have it with you. Sounds useful. I'll try it out. Uh, we didn't get this thing because I was doing a request, that's why. Oh, and don't you go bring any monsters back into town? I hate those dang things! Yes, we know about that. Right, you're not a fan of monsters. Got it. And check the sign. Private via forest. Difficulty 1 out of 5 stars. Suggest a level 1. We're just level 1 already. I think we're level 2. I don't know. An enchanting forest. Ancient ruins hint at a great city that once stood there many ages ago. But lately, some sat new statues have been added to the scenery. You can check out the mine humble items and the monsters, like... Willy or Hunter and all that stuff. Spider Ant. Go Orc Rider and stuff like that. There's also a save point here. You can save before I go into the place, which I suggest doing. Um, see, look. Oh, Willy! Sorry, I just wanted to kill you. They're not dead yet. Gee, I'm very weak. Okay, I'm running out of RP. But then you can see, I'm gonna come in here another time because I'm running out. And it's getting late, and I don't have any much RP left. So I'm just gonna pick up stuff. Do, do, do. See, it's still the same day, and then things are already popping out, even though I cleaned this place already. So. Yeah. Things will only pop up when there's something on the ground. That's convenient. And I just killed it with my sword. Yeah, you can do that. Cool. Okay. And yeah, for hitting the bamboo shoes, you can use not only your hoe, but you can use your weapons and stuff. Anything sharp. That's all. Do do do. And to heal, you can also you can. Hmm. Let me see here. Do do do. You can uh, art flowers. Also heals RP. It says RP. Recovery plus 15%. So it's useful. I highly recommend using flowers. The strange flowers actually have some purpose in this game besides gifts. And colored grass, of course, heals only a little bit. Minnow Sun on Herb will heal 20 HP. It's kind of good when you're just only low levels. Anyway, it's really late. And I'm just gonna go to the next day. Save. I save before I go to bed all the time, just in case bad weather happens the next day and I can reload. In this game, yes, you have these terrible storms and everything. Hey, anyway, let's just go. 6 a.m. Yeah, I need to go back down. Okay. Uh, I need to check that. Flowers. Oh, it's raining already. I don't need to do anything here. Yay. Uh, before I do anything, let me check the request in the mailbox. Never mind. Huh. Go figure. Now I can do this request of Sherman's. Please don't come. 
Uh, that may be a scene to come. So let's just go to the quest right now. I'm gonna be talking to people along the way, but I'm just gonna go straight to the point. Wait, he's sleeping. Okay, let's just go to Parvary Forest and I'll be back later. Okay. In this game, you can prevent monsters, but I'll tell you that once I can. Sorry about that, I need to restart again from my last save because the recording was terrible and then I like, uh, messed up recording my voice because my mic wasn't uh, properly connected. Anyway, I just put on my browser and I'm gonna put, pick out my magical seed because it will help me fight. That's just using it. Well, anytime you want. And there's a pom pom. And these treasure chests will sometimes appear in um, uh, rooms of the dungeons. And you can find anything. Like anything rare. Brown treasure chests is like usually food and random stuff. And the blue chests are for like weapons and stuff like that. And they're very rare. Anyway, we're at probably a light way and now we can't go there. That side. And before I kill myself anymore, I'm gonna save. Because I like saving after. Anyway, going to Daria's place. I haven't explained what she likes. She likes, she loves uh, dry sardines. Maybe yeah, there'll be a rainbow with this rain. Yeah, of course she'll save a rainbow. Fall, so beautiful. Oh, yeah, but it's spring and she's very eccentric. And besides dry sardines, she also likes colored grasses, so that's really easy to give her. And for some reason, I forgot to give her while we all talking about it. Yeah, Daria probably uses the colored grasses for her art. Anyway, going to the shop. We already talked about Karina's favorite gifts. I'm just talking to people to raise their FP because it's so much, so easy, you know. We had all the shipments for your farm. Uh, you weren't planning to ship a lot, were you? Uh, well, yeah, I was thinking I might want to make some money. Yeah, because we're farmers. <sighs> really? That's more work for me. But yeah, we need money in this game. We already talked about Hazel's favorite gifts. A good clerk should be cheerful and helpful. That's basic customer service. But Karina can barely manage to stay awake. Ah, uh, yeah. What can she do? She could hire another employee, but that would well let's lose money then. And Monica, um, she's trying. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'll talk about Monica's favorites later because I go to Wells. Uh, Wells. I don't actually know what Wells likes, but it'll pop up on the screen. Yeah, it'll we'll pop up on the screen later. Anyway, let's just talk to them. Uh, the tree you live in is special. It's been protecting our land for centuries. Uh, centuries, wow. I watch this over the town like a tall sound sentinel, whatever that is. Yeah, I've never seen another tree like it. So it's like more than a tree house, it's like a tree yeah. mansion. Monica loves accessories, so yeah, she likes good things. She hates fish, though. She thinks they are slimy. Good morning. Good morning. Recently, the flower field in private forest has been getting vandalized. I wonder who could be doing it. Hmm. Uh, the f in the beginning of the game, you'll hear. I just came here weird right now, and I missed. Uh, in the beginning of the game, you'll hear stuff about stuff being ha like something is wrecking havoc. And I don't know why she likes weeds. It's so weird. And I'm going to the weapon shop to Gaius. There aren't many people in town who use weapons, so I don't have many orders. That must be tough. Hmm? Doesn't bother me. Uh, bother me too much, but that must be tough for Raven. Because they need money in order to live. Hmm. But I'm glad he's happy doing something he likes. Don't talk to me. What? Well, I don't actually need anything, but then don't talk to me. Yeah, you need to keep on, like, talking to her and she'll like you. Or give her flowers like this. Oh, the smell of toy herb is so relaxing. I like it. Maybe. Yes, you like it! Thank you. Because Game Facts says so. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> morning. Good morning, my dear patient. Morning. Uh, good morning. What's the matter? Are you feeling bad or something? No, I'm not. But I'm going to talk about... The apothecary, what you can buy here. Herbs and medicine and magic tomes and stabs. 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 What would you like? You could buy, well, medicine. And uh, when you 
uh, you could get antidote, like things to heal poison, paralysis, seal, and cold. Uh, formulas A, B, and C. Um, they make crops go faster. So, yeah. Um, and these things you could actually use them to make. Well, excuse me. Um, you can make. What's it? When, until you get your own apothecary in your own house, then you can use those. Anyway, you could buy uh, magical stabs, and you could buy magical tomes. Uh, you equip them the same way as you equip your teleport and your strange purple thing. We don't know what that is. Uh, I suggest getting here because it'll heal your HP for a little bit of RP. And I suggest buying the other one so you can deal massive damage. Because it's fun. Your syringe is very unusual. Where did you get it from? It is a syringe. Hmm. When I was younger and would play Dodge with Glatch, I had a choice syringe I used to use. Then one day, Grandma gave this to me and told me to use it instead. Glatch sometimes shivers when she ho sees me holding it. I I don't blame her. Oh, poor Glatch. When you get older, you catch move as quick as you used to. Maris is such a ball of energy. It can't be tough to keep up with her. I can only imagine. Ha ha ha. Yeah, strange. Strange, strange, strange. Okay, they request. Not a good morning. Good morning. Hey, I saw your request on the bulletin board. Oh, Makai he must not gorge myself with see for Uh, you need a pot to make seafood gratin, and you won't need fire for the pot. So you can't make more stews if you had more firepower. I don't believe so. So, so I don't want you to bring me nine wood. Ah. Uh, you shouldn't be fine, even when you don't have no oh, wood. I have all wood. Because this axe isn't a gift for you! And he just gives an axe. You are forcefully given a rusty axe. Yeah. So, use this axe on a branch to make wood. Is that I so? Is that so? I see. By the way, if you lose it, you can't buy one from the weapon shop. Um, so they do sell them? Then please don't. Then please don't what? So yeah, you could buy uh, farm tools from the weapon shop. Chop up lots of branches. So he wants me to chop them up, right? Oh, you can't also throw items to hand them. But please don't be careful when someone else ca doesn't catch them. Catch it. Because they won't think it's not a present. So yeah, you could throw things. I'll show you that later. You just... I, I see. So my god, bad luck. Um, thanks. Jesus, hard to post Good evening. And there's Sophia just left. Ah, come here. What type of weather we're having? Uh, I didn't even tell you about Sophia likes. Good morning. I'm busy. What? I'm so busy. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm so busy. Why is the name paying attention to me? So, huh? Yes, I did forgot what. Sh uh, I didn't tell you what she likes. She likes uh, useless objects like fellow dishes and was it weeds and stuff? Why? Wow, what a useful object! Uh, she really likes rare cans and super fails. Uh, the difference between super fail and fail dishes. I hate these. I hope you bring me some more. Oh my gosh, she says I, I hate you. Jeez. Uh, I don't know what the difference between super fail and fail, but for some reason, when you give it to her, she'll heal HP because that's what the green 75 is. And if you give fail dishes to anyone, they'll just lose the HP. So she's weird that way. So if you give something that they like, they'll heal HP. But if you give something they don't like, they'll lose HP. But yeah, throwing them, you just uh, use the directional pad and then press A and then you throw things around. And what else? Oh yeah, about the, sh the tool shop, I suggest don't buy things from there. Uh, weapon tools from, farm tools from there because people will give it to you for f free like Sherman did. So yeah. Jeez, I, I don't know how many times I already <laughs> uh, said that, but I've been mentioning too many times. Anyway. Random NPCs, there's Shino, and I picked up my seed. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Shino likes uh, sashimi and mushrooms. She thinks mushrooms are cute. Yeah, it's weird. Place doesn't look a lot of cooking for our inn. There are many travelers that come here just for his food, actually. Yeah, I, I could imagine that. Good on morning. And I thought I saw someone, but no, I did. So, there's Raven. And I thought she said something new. What? Well, I don't actually need anything, but then don't talk to me. Fine. People, what it's a perfect shine down. 
Have you eaten yet? Of course I had ten helpless of rice, carry rice, and rice ball, and yeah, she loves rice. That's insane. Yeah, I know, I can't survive on a little. I'll leave you look like a cell skeleton. Uh, so I don't doubt that. Blaze like sweets, from what I can remember. I think. Cooked food, anyway. I don't know. He is a cook. He hates one, I think. I asked. Sa I just asked Sahio to pour some rare silverware from foreign countries. Why would you go through all that trouble? Presentation support when it comes to the culinary arts kit, just as pointing as flavor. I wouldn't know that. Uh, you could buy recipe bread, which is when you eat recipe bread, you'll learn a recipe depending on what kind of recipe bread you ate. I, I can bake for more for you today. And uh, medicine bread, you'll learn a medicine recipe. Cooking bread, you'll learn a re cooking recipe. Weapon bread is super uh, it's simple to explain. And farming bread is uh, actually farming tools. You learn farming tool recipes. But I can't do anything right now because I don't have any uh, kitchen wares or anything. You want to cook? Then let me give you the this kitchen counter. Yeah, you get a free kitchen counter from him. Uh, aren't you gonna need that? No, I get plenty of spares. Gotta get it in my practice, in, right? But just to clarify, you can only cook with your bare hands on a kitchen counter. If what, I, what if I want to cook more complex dishes? You'll find you'll need other cooking appliances. You have to buy those separately from him. I'll have to keep an eye out for those then. Okay, I'll deliver the kitchen counter to your house. Thanks a lot. Sounds good. And you can buy appliances from him. And these are the three basic ones, the knife, fry, pan, mixer. And after you're buying those three, you get the advanced ones, the oven, the blender, and the steamer, I think. You can also expand the refrigerator for 30,000 G. So that's just all the cooking supplies, uh, cooking things you can do here. But if you want to like get a forge or like stuff to make weapons and medicines, that's for later in the game until you beat the second dungeon or something. There's Pia. I already explained what she likes. I'm just coming to talk here. Oh no! What's wrong? I thought I wanted to turn blue for my bath today, but it turns out I felt like Toy Herb instead. Uh, what are you even talking about? How about bath is this wet? Oh, nice weather. Hello. Even though it's... Yeah, sunny. Ah, uh, nothing like a cold glass of milk after a warm bath. That's nice. And there's Hello. Rusk. Hello. Hello. Hey, Potato. So coarse, rough, and irritating. He always complain about vegetables. And there's Sakia. Welcome to Sakia's souvenir shop. Buy something. And I didn't explain about Sakia's shop, but I'll do that another time. I try to buy a lot of souvenirs. But the more I child, the more my steamers kept piling up in my room. Crack <laughs> rat. So I decided I should give them away and I started selling them before I knew it. It had turned into a business. Um, is this selling them and giving them away pretty different? Yep. Anyway, if you go behind here, this is the rooms. Uh, this is Pia's room. If you look in the bath, you find free squid, huh? Yeah, she keeps squid. You can only find them once a time. Once in the whole game, so yeah. And here. Let me check the drawer. If you check the drawer, uh, well, there's a ton of woolly fur balls in here. Only why? Only when Saki is here. If you check there, Saki will give you a free woolly fur ball. I can give them back to them. Let's say hi, thanks. So I'm gonna give a squid to Pia because she likes to squid or hate them. Hey, I really like these. Fruit the squid are so nice because you can eat them both raw. No, she can. Thank you, my cow. Hello, hi, Carmen. Cherry salmon are in season right now. You do eat fish? You should! The fish around here are so good, it'll be a waste not to. Remember, if you ever feel like fishing, just come on down to Carl's Resort. Our fish are always super fresh. And, um, if you go to Carl's Resort and you go fishing there, it's kind of expensive, but if you request a specific fish, you'll find more of those fish when you're fishing. And, um,. Yeah, so you can get rare fish. But you need to have a certain, like, FP uh, total with Carmen and, uh, what's his name? Carlos, uh, to be able to do that. So you get tuna, you need, like, what, 18 FP in total for them? Uh, and tuna's rare, kind of. I don't, not really. But it's a trick with to get lots of money from them. Just uh, fish tuna from there and cook them with the knife to make tuna sashimi and then sell them for 50,000 G. More than that, and, yeah. And you get lots of money that way. But I never use it myself. And you can find some rare fish too. Stop on by, you won't be disappointed. But it's expensive. And I'm gonna teleport away. 
Ah, uh, I forgot what I was doing here. Um, oh yeah, doing the... Uh, there's the axe over there. Ah, uh, this, uh, giant fingernail over there was... one I found in the chest. But anyway, I'm gonna take the rusty axe and I'm gonna cut nine wood just like what Sherman asked. I suggest doing this... On the, on the third day, yes, we're on. No, yeah, we are on the third day. Because you get a nice reward at the end of it, so. And I'm getting a level up. Skill up. Here's nine wood. I like how this game kind of slowly get you into the game. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna find Sherman, and he's still at the diner, of course, eating his life away. Here we go, nine stack, or a stack of nine. Oh, this is not nine wood. No, thank you very much. Okay, no, I can't eat soup with gratin. Um, that's good. This isn't much, but it isn't for you. Please don't take it. Thank you very much, right? Yes, that's not right. Um, yeah, he's confusing him. Anyway, so you had to do this. Uh, I suggest doing this quest because you get 3,000 gold for Sherman. Since he's all rich, he gives you lots of money during uh, during his requests. After his request, anyway. Well then, we'll test you again some other time. Yeah, that means he will ask you again. So, yeah, money. <laughs> so if you're short in cash, I guess you should do Sherman's request. Request completed! Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, there's these. Did you saw that like treasure thing above uh, my C's head? That means there's a treasure around, but hidden somewhere. But I can't find it. Usually over here, but I can't find it. I don't know why. Hmm. Right, number C. Rain will water all the crops. Isn't nature wonderful? Yeah. Except when it's um hiding, and I can't. There. Instead, instead of in, in, in except in a cave, because the cave, you know. And I don't know why I went to him. And I forgot that I did. I already told you about Darius' favorite stuff. You can check things around Darius' place. They're really interesting. But it's best if you have Darius inside the house and she'll talk about it. And I'm just gonna give her an orange grass. Oh, orange grass. I'll use it in my art. Thanks. Because I forgot to give her to her earlier. I don't like post commentating. <sighs> oh well, that's alright. And I think I already explained everyone's favorite uh, likes and dislikes, but we are still missing three characters, but that will be later in the game. Ah, <sighs> okay. Do do do. Birds are flying away whenever I can't run near them. Anyway, before I go back to private forest, I'm gonna need to buy some necessaries. Hat shoes are necessaries. So, um, there's four of these in here. I suggest either buying. Uh, two of those at the top, or one of those at the top, and then the hats and the boots. Because those two at the top are accessories. The one in the middle, the one in the middle is the uh, what's it for that head, and then uh, the one boots for the feet. So uh, I'm gonna get the glove because that raises attack instead of uh, magical defense. So anyway, I want to equip them. If you, use, you press R, and then it'll equip them easily for you. Press R. Press R. Press R. The giant's fingernail I found in the treasure chest. It's a monster drop. And it's a random chocolate bar. I don't know what to do with that. I should put it in the refrigerator another time. Hmm. <laughs> do, 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 do. Equip this save, like always. I did show you this part, how to when, what happens when you die, but you'll go to the apothecary, not don't get a game over, but you'll pay according to your level. So the higher level, the more money <laughs> you had to pay. And that light crystal was uh, you got. Th I got that from the. I was like, I got them from the portal. Uh, in yeah, you find crystals in the portal. Somewhere. Level up, and I just hit a flower, and I just got a rune. Uh, I learned a new technique. Yeah, um, when you uh, raise a level of burst attack, attack after running start to do a lunge attack with the short sword. Yes, I'm um, gonna show you what this does. If you go to, uh, when you get to short sword level five, 
Then yeah, you'll learn a dash attack. Or you could get it with any other weapon you have. If I, like, a, uh, got a long sword, then yeah, and level 5 that. Anyway, if you chop a f uh, those blue flowers, uh, you get runes, so it's a razor RP, and those are apples, and I just got a blue flower there, and I skill up for my search. And then I'll show you where the search thing is. Jesus, so confusing. Okay, uh, searching. Raises int and RP? Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah, so searching things is nice. But yeah, I suggest find those flowers and also those blue crystals around here then with a the hammer then you know, also uh, raise RP as well. So, look gonna out for those things. Anyway, I suggest go the stupid portal so they don't pop out again. That's where the monsters come out from. And yes, fighting with my sword. Oh, what's this? My strange statues. Yeah, they're strange, aren't they? It looks like I can rotate this statue. What should I do? Okay, never mind. Let me check this first. There's something written here. Let's see. When the faces see each other, the doors will open. What does that mean? You see these two statues there? It looks like I can rotate this statue. What should I do? Uh, there's actually four of them. Four statues here. The Two at the top here in the eye, and there's two at the bottom of the screen. And uh, another place I haven't unlocked yet, or haven't been there yet. Um, you need to have them face each other that are similar. So uh, these two up here will need to face south, and the two at the bottom will have to face north. I'll show you that later when I'm higher level enough to get that far in the dungeon. I'm a little weak, so I'm just, right now I'm just training a bit. And I just stunned the other orc. High orc. High orc soup. Yeah, imagine that in the soup. Ugh. I don't know why they would eat that and that yeah, would just branch just pop down nowhere. Yay! And here's more flowers. Heal RP. Yay! I'll show you the blue rocks in that time. You'll probably see them when I walk around. I probably might not point it out. Uh, why did I brought a hoe with me? Okay, does teleport. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna pop this last turn up and then I'm gonna finish the video off. Because it's 28 minute video. And I had to stop teleporting. I'm not used to the controls yet. I will soon enough. Playing an emulator is kind of difficult, but I play it on a DS so much. Ta -da -da. I don't need to water. It's raining already. Skill up with walking. Yeah. I find this game really easy compared to other games, but I find this game fun too and e easy to play. So, that's enough for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, even though it's kind of confused with me commentating this. But it's fun. Fun playing this game. It's fun to experience it all over again. So, uh,. Next video, I hope I'll show you more, and uh, hopefully the tutorial stuff will be finished sooner or later. So, guys, see you next. As always, see you guys next time. Bye. Hope you guys enjoy this episode.